We've got Nalin Mehta, sports historian and author, joining us on the phone line. Nalin, historic occasion indeed for Saina Neval to get such a grand reception at Hyderabad on our arrival. It is fitting for someone like her at 22 to become the second Indian woman to wear an Olympic medal and the first shuffler to do so in the sport. Absolutely, no question about it. We first saw scenes like this in 2007. Uh, when we won the T20 World Cup, and that was a fit, uh, that and that was fitting enough. But I think Sainal Nehwal deserves it as much as any of the pick, as well as any of the cricketers have in the past. She is she is the first Indian woman to have won uh, a badminton medal at the Olympics. Uh, she is a top athlete, uh, and I think she deserves every bit of the adulation and every bit of the praise that she is getting now. Hyderabad, of course, is a whole is a hometown, but also the hometown of Indian badminton. Uh, it's the nursery of Indian badminton, and I think it's it's, it's fitting enough that. That, 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 that Hyderabad is welcoming her in this grand fashion with open arms for all the laurels and all the glory that she's brought to India. Well, absolutely, uh, Nalan. These are pictures once uh, uh, accustomed only to cricket uh, players in India, but now things are changing in this country. Olympic sport is making waves, and with India now getting its best ever haul at the Olympics uh, and China contributing to that, Hyderabad clearly wants to, to salute and thank uh, their star. But talk us through uh, China's journey from, from the nine year old who started playing badminton. Uh, to, to being an Olympic champion. Clearly, your parents have played a huge role. They've had to sacrifice a lot for a, for a girl from middle class family to get the best of facilities. It's been a tough journey, but due rewards at the end. Well, absolutely. Saina Nehwal began her journey, I'm told, as a karate player to begin with. And uh, and then she switched to badminton uh, at an early age. Uh, karate's loss, of course, was badminton's gain. Uh, her father's an agricultural scientist. Uh, she, uh, I, I think she lost in the quarterfinals in Beijing. And that is something that has always rankled her. She's talked often in the past about how she, woke, she, she often gets nightmares about that loss in Beijing. And she's really, really prepared hard for the London Olympics. Uh, right. In the past uh, two years, she's been training with Gopi Chand and with the, with the Olympic gold best. Uh, I think the great thing about Saina Naival is not just her talent, but the hard work and the determination Absolutely. that has gone into it. She, she is the fittest, uh, or certainly among the top two or three fittest athletes on the circuit. Gopi Chand will be saying for a while that she is the fittest one. And I think we saw that in the in the, in the semis as well. Well, indeed, fitness was one of the prime factors for Saina going out and sealing Olympic glory. We've got a legendary badminton player Prakash Padukone also joining us on the phone line from Bangalore. Sir, your first start seeing these pictures at Hyderabad to see an open top bus parade for a ba for a shuttler. This is historic in itself, isn't it, sir? Uh, well deserved, uh, uh, I think, reception. Uh, in fact, uh, takes me back to 1980 when I won the All England. You know, I never expected. Uh, I just came back, uh, you know, and I thought uh, because the game was not po very popular at that time, I expected about 30, 40 people to be at the airport, including my family. But when I came back, you know, I, there was such a big reception arranged by the state government, you know, that I was uh, taken on an open uh, uh, jeep right from all the way from the airport to the secretariat. It reminds me of that, uh, uh, you know. But I think uh, she richly deserves, uh, you know, all the accolades. Uh, she's really worked hard. Uh, uh, I think uh, she, you know, she's brought uh, laurels for the country. Badminton <coughs> was uh, in the news, but uh, I think this will, uh, you know, put badminton uh, in a totally in a different league. You know, even in that time in '80, when I won, uh, you know, the uh, the game became from a minor sport, it became a major sport. But now I think uh, it will definitely put, uh, you know, badminton in a totally different league. And I hope that. Uh, you know, the, the Federation and uh, of course the Sports Ministry is uh, doing a lot uh, to promote all sports. Federation in particular will, you know, take advantage of this and popularize and develop the sport more, even more, uh, you know, th th throughout the country. You know, there is a lot of talent, you know, we've seen some very, uh, a lot of uh, youngsters taking up to this game. So this is the right time to capitalize on that and, uh, you know, make the game uh, develop further.